In this video, I'll show you how to download Shotcut on Windows. Shotcut is a free and open source video editor. Let's just go to Google and search Shotcut, all one word. And the website address is shotcut.org. I'll include the link in the description of this video. And go ahead and just click on Downloads. So this is legitimately free software, but you just have to be careful. These are ads that are for something else. This Start Now over here, and these are going to change. It might be different for you. Just make sure the actual download link is a little confusing. It's just a plain text you can hover over and click on. And so any of these would actually work. You'll probably want to avoid the zip and just get the installer, either the 64-bit or 32-bit. And it doesn't matter if you download it from Site 1 or Site 2. It's just multiple options to download from. I'm going to do it from Site 2, which is GitHub, and I'm going to do the 64-bit installer. That will probably be the best choice for you as well. Um, just keep in mind, if you do have an older computer, like very old, you'll want to do the 32-bit installer, maybe an older laptop or something. But most computers these days are 64-bit. So this is downloading, and um, I'll pause the video and speed this up. Okay, that's finished downloading now. So I can see the downloads on Firefox by clicking here, and it shows me. I can click this folder, and it'll open up the location that it's saved on my computer. Or I can just open up um, the File Explorer and go to Downloads which is where it downloaded on my computer, and it's this shotcut-win64. So I'll click on this file, and since it's not the zip, it'll just uh, start installing right away. So it brings up the dialog. Uh, I agree to the terms and conditions. I just leave everything the, at the defaults and click Next and Install. I'll speed this up to this part here. Okay, there you have it. So Shotcut is now installed on my computer. I can close out of all of these, and if I click the Start button on my computer and just type in Shotcut, uh, it comes up. And I can create a desktop icon for it too. But here we have it. So this is Shotcut. And uh, I'll just show you real quick just to get started. So it starts out with filters here, but if we want to change, we can click on Settings, uh, and, and we can go to Layout. And we can change to this timeline project is kind of what is here by default. We can also go to layout and go to uh, clip only. So there's just some different options here. Uh, and there's also restore default layout. Uh, if we want to, anything else, a, a, a different dialog, you can click up here to toggle the history being shown, the peak meter being shown. If something gets closed on the interface, you can just click like timeline up here to bring it back. But to get started with video, you have to type in a, a project name, and then we'll drag some video in, and you have to click on Playlist. That's the most important part. Um, you can just go File, Open to, but if you do Playlist, you can actually drag in multiple video files. This is a test. We're testing the video. And um, there you have it. So that is a shortcut. Go ahead and check out um, the tutorial series if you're interested in learning how to use this software more fully. Uh, and check out other videos where I demonstrate free and open source software of all qualities and types. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.